Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We have an interesting little tidbit to discuss today. So, very recently, um, I believe the 13th of September, which would have, at the time of recording, would have been yesterday, <clears throat> Ohio Democrat nominee Tim Ryan called in to MSNBC and a little interesting. Uh, a lot of folks are awaiting President Biden's response to the phone conversation. Let me, let me just show you why. Stand by. What is your message to Ohio Republicans in this general election? Well, I would say, one, I'm, I'm one of the most bipartisan members of Congress. The last two Congresses, I've been in the top 10 percent of most bipartisan. How do we fix all of these broken systems? Some of those answers will come from Republicans. It's not, not the extremists that we're dealing with every single day. We've got to kill and confront that movement. Um, but, the, you know, working with normal mainstream Republicans. So Senate hopeful Tim Ryan just told the whole world on MSNBC that the MAGA Republican movement needs to be killed and confronted. Seems a little odd uh, because President Trump tells people to make their voices heard and he's under investigation. We're just waiting for President Biden to have the same energy of demonizing the things that Tim Ryan has said. You know, you'd like to think that when he said kill and confront the MAGA movement, that he just meant the ideology and people having political access. But who knows? Nowadays, you can't trust anybody, right? People are getting censored all over social media for far less. People are getting prosecuted for far less. Where is President Biden to go? This was an inappropriate thing to say, and you know you shouldn't be saying that. It's it's borderline a call to action. I'm just saying. Just saying. So, to the liberals that this popped up in their for you page and or on their timeline or wherever. And their, their feed, and they're gonna jump on you. Me, 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 you know what he meant. Oh my God, Democrats aren't like that. We don't do that. We don't come after people. We don't, we don't have calls to action like that. It's you crazy Republican, MAGA Republicans. We don't do that. Well, we're gonna just jump ahead of that. We're gonna put the, the cart in front of the horse on that one. Um, take a look. I, I, I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. Maybe there will. Did the Speaker of the House just question why there aren't uprisings all, all over the country? What? Why is she not being investigated? Especially for the fact that Antifa and all kinds of other crazy left-wing anti-fascists were burning down cities and attacking people why isn't she being investigated for that it needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there's unrest in our lives how was that not how was that not i mean literally calling for civil unrest and calling for it to not end until they feel that there's not there's actual peace they feel that there's peace and there's no more unrest in their lives how do these people not get Investigate it. You gotta be ready to throw a punch. Well, you have to be ready to throw a punch. And here we have Nancy Pelosi, you know, again, the Speaker of the House, advocating for physical violence against your political opponents. Cool. Donald Trump, I think you need to go back and then punch him in the face. Now, I don't know when this was specifically said, but this man sat on live television and flat out said that Donald Trump, either currently sitting president or depending on the time of the recording, former president, needs to have someone actually physically go punch him in the face. Bro, 
Hello. That I thought he should have punched him in the face. I feel like punching him. Here you have two more jabronis on live television talking about punching Donald Trump in the face. One of them is Senator Cory Booker from New Jersey. Why is this man not being prosecuted? Why? That sounds like a call to action. I want to punch him in the face. You mean to tell me that when you go, I just want to punch him, that people aren't going to get crazy ideas? Because that's what you're going after Trump for, saying some shit and people getting crazy ideas. I think I'd like to take him behind the gym if I were in high school. If we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. And our glorious, glorious commander-in-chief, our Alzheimer-in-chief, threatening that if circumstances were right, I would have taken him behind such and such place and kicked the crap out of him. Very presidential of you. I will go and take Trump out tonight. Bro. Maxine fucking waters on live television literally saying that she will go take him out tonight <sighs> how 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 republicans all of you are to fucking blame for this shit all of you are weak spined jellyfish for spines Take them out now. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump. Elizabeth Warren advocating for taking Donald Trump out now. Now, could she have been talking about removing him from office? Sure. But you know what you did. You know what you did when you used those vague, that vague phrase of, Take him out now. You know what the fuck you did. And then Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp questioning when the last time a, a actor threatened the well-being of a sitting president. How, how is this dude not being investigated? How? How? If Trump had said half the shit that these liberals are saying, He'd been hung for treason by now. If, if some Republican conservative actor had said that about Joe Biden, he'd be blacklisted and thrown in prison. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Then you have this oldie but goodie of bonehead Cuomo not understanding the Constitution at all. Where does it say that their protests are supposed to be peaceful? Literally in the first fucking amendment. You represent a state, or used to, represent a state in government, and you don't even know what the first amendment of the Constitution says? Are you serious, bro? If that ain't a fucking call to action, I don't know what is. She's literally, literally calling people to go out, push back, and make sure that people, that, that MAGA Republicans understand that they're not welcome in this country. That literally calling to action. How is she not under arrest? I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. And then there's that classic from Madonna. Which... And the, the the double standard, the hypocrisy, the hypocrisy of it. If one conservative had said that, they would have been in prison and they would have thrown Donald Trump under the bus somehow. Look what Donald Trump did. He caused this hysteria. Calm the fuck on, people. Well, this is just a warning to you Trumpers. Be careful. Walk lightly. And for those of you who are soldiers, make them pay. If Literally just call for action. Literally. Literally. A government official literally just told her soldiers to make Trumpers pay. 
the, it's it's nauseating the, the the hypocrisy it's nauseating if you had to be stuck in an elevator with either president trump mike pence or jeff sessions who would it be does one of us have to come out alive <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate, I hate her cackle. I hate her cackle so much. That little witch cackle. Oh, I can't stand it. She literally, oh, I know it was a joke, but the, again, the hypocrisy. Had Trump made that joke, it would have been a fucking meltdown. It would have been a meltdown. But because it's a liberal in Hollywood, it, like in a Hollywood show in a Hollywood setting, everybody gives her a pass, right? Everybody gives her a pass. It goes on and on and on and on and on. It's on. I had to reduce it down to just the clips that I thought were the most relevant or the most damaging. I mean, they're all taken from like an 11 minute, 11 and a half minute compilation video. Um, the, the, the number of times that liberals have gone out and called to action people that are making actual claims of going out and harming a former or sitting president, depending on the timeline, is nauseating. And we just go, bah. I mean, conservatives don't. Well, look, the MAGA Republicans don't. But the conservatives, modern conservatives, I should say modern rhinos, modern old school conservatives are fucking weak. They're weak-spined, and they refuse. They refuse to get their hands dirty and go make these people held, be held accountable for the things that they say and the things that they do. Half those clips I just showed you, people insinuated that someone should harm the president. And we're just going to pretend like that didn't happen. <laughs> Yay! Remember that on people in the crowd? Sheep. Sheep. Those sheep that were just applauding and cheering. Oh, you're Johnny Depp, oh my God, oh Madonna, oh yeah. Those same idiots were the same ones that wanted Trump out of office because his tweets hurt their feelings. The same ones that when Hillary lost, you, there's video clips of them on, on their knees on the sidewalk, ah, screaming, ones that are taking safe spaces. Those same people that needed safe spaces because that an election didn't go their way. Or the same people that needed safe spaces because Trump said something that hurt their feelings. These are the same people advocating for harm to come to him. When? When does the hypocrisy end and when do we start holding people accountable? Never? Fantastic. 